what is going on you are watching and listening to tags live that's right talk about gay sex the live version i'm your host steve v alongside cody maurice doggett how the hell are you hello darling i'm so good to be with you tonight so i'm doing wonderful now yeah welcome back welcome back Carter. thank you yeah. thank you we missed you last missed week you last I missed you last week too. Yes, I, li I did listen to the show, and it was pretty funny, especially when Teddy came on. Yes, I love, I love that kid. I loved utilizing one of our listeners, friend to the show, Teddy Alexis Rodriguez, and yeah, he um, he did a great, a lot of fun. Um, you know, this is episode three hundred and seventeen, and guess what? I'm in Puerto Vallarta having Ooh. a blast. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting because the it's uh, an hour behind eight o'clock here, <laughs> and I barely made Is it the to the show. You know, no, the sun went down. Saw the sunset, oh, okay. and uh, here Aww. with my sister had a great having a great time. Barely one day yes. in, barely one day in, Cody, and uh -huh. I met up with a friend who listens to our show and his crew on a Tuesday nice. night. You would have thought I, I joined their last night of, of Puerto Vallarta and thought it was my last night too. Only nice. it was day one. And we it was a long, fun filled night. Too much fun, really. I, I need to I pace myself. So much for pacing yourself, right? <laughs> but, well, you still have many more days to go. So I do, yes. So I'm really excited about it. So I love it being here. It's just so awesome. And and yeah, I'll take pictures. Follow us on Tags Podcast, by the way, and you can get the update or on our TikTok at Tags Podcast. And lastly, there is a sale going on right now for Tags merch. I'm talking about merchandise, like the tank top I'm sporting right now which Ooh. is really great, but we've got teas, mugs, stickers, all kinds of stuff to show your love for Tags Podcast. And for now, uh, this week, there is a sale going on. So you want to take advantage of it. You can, uh, the link is in my bio on at Tags Podcast, or simply go to tagspodcast.com and hit Tags Merch. Well, nice. all right, we've got a fun-filled show of hot topics, plus some advice to give from one oh, okay. lucky... Yeah, we're going to give it to one lucky listener. And the annual Sexiest Man Alive by People Magazine came out, Cody. And do you know who they picked? After three <laughs> years of doing doing it right with some really great picks, I think, like Idris Elba, yep. John Legend, and um, a few others, Michael, Michael B. B. Jordan, Jordan. they went Ooh. and chose Paul Rudd as the sexiest man alive to don their current cover. And my co-producer off camera is giving the gag reflex sign. <laughs> and she's a, I thought, and she's a big fan of Paul Rudd, but sexiest I man am too. alive. You are too? I've loved him since Clueless. I've loved him since Clueless. Oh, oh that's a good one. Sexiest man alive, that's a hefty that's a, a a lofty goal for him to live up to. I, he's sexy, yeah. sexiest man alive. I I'm not buying it. Yeah, I didn't see where they were going with this. It, it felt to me like after three years of picking finally some people of color, at, other than white, three yeah. years in a row they had black male sexiest men alive, yes. and then. So what happens? They drop the ball, and then all of a sudden we and no no offense to Paul Rudd, but yeah, I bet because... he was even surprised. <laughs> He's like, who who me? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Not this guy behind me. Oh, okay. yeah, right. no, no. <laughs> oh. no, he's I'm sure he's sexy to some people because yeah. there's more than one definition of what sexy is. But I agree with you. I I don't see it. I think he's super cute. I don't think he's the sexiest man alive. And like you were saying, they picked so many people of color before. Why? If they they didn't necessarily even have to do another black man. They could have did an Asian man. They could have done a a, did a Latino man. They they have so many options out there. Paul Rudd is was not on my radar for sexiest man alive. 
You know who my pick would have been is Ooh. Daniel Craig of because oh. I think they ha- because if you look, I'm going to read you some names in a little bit here. But they okay. picked 007 Sean Connery in the past. Daniel Craig to okay. me is just incredibly sexy, just by a smoldering look, and I, he has 007, the final one that just came out. So he's relevant. If anybody saw the current 007. It's really amazing, and it's this final one. I thought it would have yeah. been great. A man of a certain age. It would have yeah. been kind of a great pick. What do you think of that pick? I think that's a great pick. I would also go with an action star, Simu, Simu Liu. I hope I'm saying that wrong. I probably butchered it. Um, from, <laughs> from I just watched uh, Shang-Chi in The Legend of Ten Rings, the Marvel oh, movie. yeah, right. The lead in that, he's super handsome. And also The Rock, of course. Of course, but the okay. So the Rock has been picked already before. He has so. okay. All right. See, I'm I'm glad I said Simu first. Then okay. But the his, but, but you know the the I have the list in front of me of the since 1985. The first ever was Mel Gibson, homophobic Mel Gibson is the first ever back in 1985, which yeah, not a good. And they've picked people like Johnny Depp two or three times he's done the cover before um one year he's a they sexy man. yeah one year they picked um a couple they picked which was so off it was um who was it producer uh, Cindy Crawford and Richard Gere as a couple. Like, how did like how random is that? I thought be? you meant that they picked a gay couple because I would like to uh, formally put my hat in the ring for sexiest men alive with me and my boyfriend. Oh, okay, yeah, that would be good. <laughs> so, you know, in terms of gay, you know who would be really good? I think is Ricky Martin. Uh, has he not been one yet? No, nope, not because at all. He has been my crush for a very, very, very long time. So. Yeah, and he's like currently, I think, going on tour again, and he does a lot of great social media, and I think he would be a great pick. Plus, you cover the Latino box, which we haven't had one, and on top of that, he's gay, so and a father. I think he would yeah. be such a great pick, right, to diversify. He is, he is yeah. undisputably t- sexy, so... Yes. Um, what are the people saying on the left? And then we'll Marcus. move on says he does not see it for i'm not sure if he meant 007 which you were guys were talking well, i hope about, he's not talking or, about daniel craig <laughs> 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 or maybe he was talking about paul rudd before we're gonna go with that because he's not in the room right now so okay we'll ask him when he comes back um and everybody is agreeing with simu got it yeah yeah that was a good pick i i think he had a little controversy though um, but he's small, but yeah. Um, Ooh, but that is a good thing. Oh. All right. Well, speaking of sexy, there is a a guy that's online that he does these great Michael Henry. Do you know him? he's a YouTuber, a comic, mm-hmm. comedian, and he does these great videos. And his current one is the question explaining why gay men don't smile in photos. And so why do so many why do so many gay men think think it's sexy to scowl? How many times have you checked out the photos on dating apps only to be confronted by moody stares or blank expressions? In fact, are you smiling in your dating app profile pic? When pressed, most people would probably just respond that they don't like their smile, but they're there's a deeper reason. And that Whoa. question is addressed with humor and in Michael Henry's current they don't have heads. Yeah, right. Well, that's a good one, right? So Michael Henry is out in the park with two friends in this skit, which is very funny. I'll post this on tagspodcast.com. When he asked them why gay men so often appear to never smile in their photos, quote, gay men want to look, fu- well, so they answer him, gay men want to look fuckable okay. at all times, says one. And the other one says, and mysterious, adding, I like it when a guy looks like he's about to fight someone. <laughs> they go on to discuss whether <laughs> smiling is seen as feminine and not tough and assure okay. Michael he'll double the amount of dick he stops he'll double the amount of dick if he stops smiling in photos it's really uh, yeah it's a really um you know 
interesting thing about mine, I tend to smile a lot. And we have a co-host, Jeremy Ross Lopez, yeah. that, you know, I, he does not smile in his pictures at all. Jeremy and fucking gorgeous, okay? It is. I don't tend to smile that much. I mean, I me excuse either. me. I tend to smile a lot. I tend to smile a lot in my pictures. I just do. I don't think I over smile. I just think I do. In fact, it got me brownie points yesterday with my friend's roommate who I met when I was out in Puerto Vallarta. And you know the compliment he gave me? He said, "Okay, you've got a great smile." Well, oh. when I woke up in his bed the next morning, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> my you were smiling from me, ear to ear. I was smiling from <laughs> ear to ear. <laughs> and yeah, so in my case, I think it actually works. But you, if you scroll on Mr. Maurice's Instagram, it's a lot uh, of the same are, shirtless I, things. <laughs> I think so. I gotta go. Oh, I think look. I hear somebody calling me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I heard your boyfriend in the background, and he thinks you're where you need to be in the hot seat. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I've never liked my smile. I don't, I've used to practice smiling in the mirror to make it look cute. I just thought that it wasn't attractive for me to smile. Really? I, I guess it was growing. Yeah. I don't, smile I don't know. Smile right why. now and for not, me. Uh, oh, you, you're trying hard. Your eyes are shut. Okay. I get it. The <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Vivian. She said, I have a great smile. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> But I think it's because 90s supermodel. And they're always so serious and they always have this like, you know, don't smizing and face Tyra Banks. And they're, yeah, exactly. I, so I think that that is where I picked it up from. And I think that that's where a lot of that. <laughs> what about you? Do you smile? Well, like, I said you, I smile. Do you a like lot. your smile? I know, but do you yeah, like your yeah. smile? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And I do like my smile. And I think that's why I tend to smile more. And I notice a lot of guys don't smile a lot. In fact, I think some guys, gay guys, take it a little too far. Like some, they're scowling oftentimes. Like there's this one guy that mm -hmm. I like that I've known for years. And he's, he's always scowling. He'll have like a cigar in his mouth. And it's just like, to me, when it's too serious like that, it makes uh -huh. me think like you're covering up something or you're trying to put on Ooh. a front. I think if you don't like your you're style, to put on a front. yeah. Um, interesting point. My sister and I were talking about it and she said that gay guys for the most part know how to really take a good picture and not smile. Like you, you do it really well. Jeremy does it really well, but mm -hmm. a lot of straight guys, cause she's sometimes on the apps scrolling around okay. and they do not know what they're doing they, they either look like they have like sort of a dunce look on their face a serial or killer? a blank a serial <laughs> killer and so yeah so i don't know i smile with my eyes when i don't smile i make sure you that smize. the corners of my mouth are up yes i i have this whole you can see it on my instagram i have a whole thing that i go through the thoughts that go through my mind what do you think about when you take a picture when you're not smiling when I'm not smiling, yes. <laughs> well, that that was funny. They said that in the skit. They think about yeah, the hair. That's, why, that's what made me yeah. think of it. Um, I don't. I mean, I think I'm. Well, I'm smizing with my eyes. Like I, I really you took look that. Sexy. What are you thinking about? Yeah. What am I thinking? I'm thinking about sex or just smoldering. Oh. Yeah, maybe oh. not sex per se, because that's a little too deep i think i'm just thinking sensuality and uh -huh. or somebody that i really like that would elicit a sexual smize somebody that i really like yeah i'm that, thinking about myself <laughs> that says a lot <laughs> me myself and i <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's funny but what it made me think of was have you ever heard the quote i think it's from iman and they say, when you're taking a picture, what are you thinking of? And she says, Africa, I think. Was it Iman oh, that said that? That sounds like an Iman quote. 
I have to look Google it because I think that that yeah. is something that's so it was so funny to me. So I like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know if it says anything, but I do know a lot of gay guys don't want to smile too much in there. And I think there's some truth to it, but I think some guys go way overboard on it. And yeah, no, I don't know. Um, Gandhi said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Teddy said. Is God, that, that. that is hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, Teddy. I love that. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, we've got to move on. And Dan Savage, who's, you know, we love to shout out to Dan Savage because he's the okay. original of all of this talk about gay, gay sex and so on and so forth. Dan Savage doesn't hold back in his warning to straight guys flirting with gay guys. Sex mm. columnist Dan, Dan Savage has countered the notion that all gay men are automatically turned turned out by flirtation with a straight man. And in fact, in his new column, Sa Savage suggests the opposite. Cis okay. married straight right. man here, a reader identified as lusting after Dan, writes, you're my gay crush. Given the chance, how would you seduce me? I've never had man sex before because I really like <laughs> pussy and the way women mm -hmm. feel but i think i could do it for you you've always been my celeb man man pass how can we get this started quote i'm just a straight guy writing to a gay guy asking him to fuck me the reader concludes savage seldom is seldom one to suffer they write and quote straight guys who make passes at gay men assume assume savage writes we're all going to think oh my god this is one this is my one chance to sleep with a real man and in reality what most gay men are thinking when a straight man guy <laughs> hits on us is jesus christ this dude is gonna shit all, all over my dick <laughs> oh my god now that thought doesn't stop some gay men from sleeping with straight identified guys who are bi or gay and closeted he writes yeah. nor does it stop some gay men from sleeping with the rare straight but situationally hetero flexible guy with a very specific crush on one of us yep savage concedes but it's always annoying when a straight guy assumes his straightness is an aphrodisiac that drives gay men wild and asks questions like given the chance how would you seduce me that framing assures i would try or would want to try if i had the chance so he concludes with, you could say, I'm just a gay guy responding to a straight guy asking him to get over himself. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's I why that's, I love Dan Savage. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was, I mean, the, the balls and the nerve of this guy to write into Dan Savage and think that you're my, you're the one that I would do this with. And, and for Dan you, Savage how to would just you fall seduce over. me? Like, yeah, that right. is too much. That how is presumptuous too... is that? Yeah, what you, did you think when you saw dude, read this? I thought it was ridiculous. I can't imagine Dan Savage ever wanting to go after this straight guy. And you know what made me cackle the most <laughs> was when that comment about well, shitting on 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 the dick. Yes, because oh I think about that so m more than I care to even help. if I see like a, a cute <laughs> straight guy. And he's got a nice plump booty. I'm like, it probably stink because they're oh so scared. <laughs> because too much I, space there. <laughs> they don't want. They don't like to clean it. I feel like I don't. I feel like they don't want. They don't like cleaning back there. It's just too get. It's too gay to clean your butt crack. I'm like, it probably smells horrible back there. So Marcus loves me. Marcus watching us right now says, I say that all the time. Facts. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, good. You know what? I'm I'm glad I don't have one of the, like, I, I have a booty with doing tons of squats, and I have to do a lot for my booty to kind of plump up a little bit, but it's always clean. Let me tell hey, you something. That's the best part. That is yeah. that is all that matters. Yes. That was hilarious. Um, I've always had a thing for straight acting kind of dudes at for a while but then i stopped saying that because as we've talked on this show it's yeah. i think it's age old uh verbiage that many of us in the community discuss with but i have been known to have straight male friends and um i don't think i have crushes on them anymore like yeah. i used to i think for Me so either. long for so long we didn't have much representation now we were just mm -hmm. talking about Ricky Martin and there's so many eye candy out there for our community that I can lust after. I don't That's need true. to go to the straight 
you know, world to, to create that. Do you agree with yeah. that? I agree with that 100% because now that we have, that's why representation is so important because yeah. it gives everybody, it gives them the ability to see themselves in other people and see aspects of themselves and seeing that, that it's not so out of the ordinary to be gay in this, in today's society. Now I will say another thing just to add on to the reason yeah. I'm not flirting with no straight guys is because <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's all about reciprocity, right? Right. So, I need for somebody to be it, as much into me as I into, am into them. I guess that that can sound a little bit like uh, self-involved a little bit, but I need for them to be, that's a real turn on for me. It's one of the biggest turn ons for me. If, oh, I don't. If they are interested in me. No, I think that's fair. Like you want yeah. it to, to feel that same energy and reciprocate yeah. back at you. So yeah, and oftentimes when like this story, it sounds like somebody has something over you and they're dangling that exactly. in front of you and we should be Get so lucky. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Exactly, exactly. And I'll, I will post that article up on textpodcast.com because it's a really good piece that he wrote on that. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah, Marcus definitely agree with me. He says that y you know that the booty stinks. The straight guy's booty stinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. All right. Well, we have some advice for one listener who wrote into us and he asked the question and we love to give sex advice or relationship yes, advice. Do. He asked a very simple question, but it got me thinking. So when going on a first date with a guy, how is the best way to break the touch barrier holding hands. Ah. Interesting, right? And, you know, for the first thing I have to say on that is the guy, the roommate that here in Puerto Vallarta that I was hanging oh. out with. Oh, you just went through this. I got oh, a fresh, okay. I got a fresh, <laughs> fresh perspective. <laughs> I have a fresh margarita in front of me. I'm good yeah. to go. We are not pulling from 2003 here. We are I, I had to think way back. <laughs> you had to go way back. I'm pulling from not even 24 hours ago. Nice. And nice. I hang out with this guy, spend the night, great sex. So much fun. He, you know, because when you're traveling these days, you got to go get a COVID test, right? So uh -huh. he was like, oh my gosh, I got to go get my COVID test. And I'm like, it better be ne negative. I'm just saying that. <laughs> but, which it was. Okay, I went good. This is, this is kind of a funny story. We get there and we were throwing our clothes on and we, I walked him over to the place and I said, oh, do you mm -hmm. want me to wait for you? And he comes out. I'm like, wow, that was fast. He forgot his wallet. So I paid for his oh, COVID no. test. <laughs> he been so me back. He been me back. But yeah. So anyways, but on the walk over to the COVID test, which was negative uh -huh. that I paid for. Fabulous. He, fabulous. It better be if you paid for it, by the way. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I am not paying for a positive result. Uh -huh. You better. <laughs> <laughs> and I still have a trip here, but it's day one. And so I'm exactly. walking, he slid his hand into mine. And I don't know if it was just, because normally I would have been a little like, oh, I don't know. But maybe it had to do that I'm on vacation. I'm on holiday. Yeah. I'm on the streets of Puerto Vallarta. Oh, you're on holiday. I'm on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what? <laughs> Isn't that what we say? And, and so, <laughs> say? Yes, darling. Yes, darling. That's what we say. Okay. <laughs> and I, I apologize. It just cracked me up that you said that. <laughs> and I'm walking down the street. I loved it. But so, Aww, it, that's so, so I will that's say really this. That's really ballsy of him. Really ballsy. He took a risk. It's a 50-50. Could have gone any other way, especially with someone like myself that isn't known to like a lot of PDA. Mm -hmm. I went with it. He made the right choice, kitching, and held his hand to that COVID test. But maybe it has to be like you're walking to a COVID test or you have to be <laughs> on holiday. Yeah, I don't They're very specific <laughs> criteria yeah. for yeah, you to yeah. hold somebody's hand. But seriously, <laughs> Cody, I know you're going to come at us with some life coaching. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Well, this has always been tricky for me as far as because I'm not really good at reading people's body language when they're interested in me when they're not interested i i can read them all day i'm like oh, okay no he's not interested at all and you give a good read by the way but not, <laughs> not the read we're Thank talking you, about. <laughs> <laughs> and when if if i think back to the last date that i went on my 
my was with my boyfriend and he was all over me like sauce on ribs so that's oh, that's, oh. <laughs> sauce that's my story on ribs. that's my story i'm sticking to it he was all over me all right <laughs> wow and you, and how did you feel obviously a year later hey, practically i was and... about it from the very minute that he that i saw him i was all about it so i was okay with it so I guess part of our advice has to do with chemistry, right? It has 100%. to be read, read the room. <laughs> read the room. That's yes. the first thing. But I do have a trick for this person. So what I would do when I was on a date and I was kind of unsure, I would rub my leg up against the, uh, I would just press it against the other person's leg and wow. see if they push back or rub rub my leg a little bit with their leg and then what if they had a third I, leg <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's always looking rubbing, for that third leg <laughs> and i'm rubbing that too <laughs> i love it well, that's a good one i like the nudge yeah, yeah. because and, it's, and, it's and you of, can also be like oh excuse me i'm sorry like I, it's not it, really intrusive and you can, and you can always tell. made a mistake or like you yeah know, oh sorry i didn't mean to kick you if they don't push back, right? Exactly, exactly. So, but make sure that and you so leave the room first. So that's great advice. So let's just say they nudge back, then uh -huh. you, the aggressor of the two that wants to hold the other person's hand, then sh should go for it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I usually put my hand on their leg, on their knee, because if you, if uh, I've done a little bit of research as far as like where what body parts are not really invasive when you when you actually touch them and your knee and your elbow are definitely those places so your knee I would and touch your... there I put yeah not I the bony not the bone of the knee <laughs> the <laughs> be a little romantic knee. <laughs> <laughs> well You're I talking mean, like I above put, the knee right above the I knee I would put my hand on their knee or close to it and then if they put their hand on my hand then that means it's a good to we're good to go why am I having flashbacks of my Catholicism and touching <laughs> the knee? I don't know. Oh, what was you doing in Catholic? Well, I don't know. It's just not good. It's not good. I'll say that. But it's nice and innocent. I, I'm, I'm an innocent. So uh, yes, you are. <laughs> what is um, <laughs> Vivian says? Great tip, Cody. What does Teddy say? Oh yes, Teddy says that uh, if they say something funny, they then he lightly touches their their shoulder to see how that goes. And I agree with that one hundred percent. But but what if they're not funny, Teddy? Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> then end a date. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> okay. Time to end go. The date. It's time to go. You put me to sleep. <laughs> Where are if, the jokes? <laughs> if they are not funny, he says, then bye. <laughs> That's right. That's how it goes. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a it's a tricky one. And it's weird how both of our examples came early on in the dating experience. Yeah. In other words, we didn't say wait to the fifth date or wait till oh, no. you know, a period of time has lapsed. I think it does you don't have to because if you play that game somebody's going to say two dates, somebody's going to say 10, and you're never going to come to that right, you know, answer, I think. And so and I think you just you run the it. danger of, of getting friend zoned. If you wait till the fifth date, that's a long time. Well, then you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But I, I do like both of those tips are really good though. The shoulder, the knee, I think those are really good. Um, Maybe mine was spend the night with the guy first and then get that out of the way where we touched everybody part and then some, and then grabbing my hand seemed like, oh, you know, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, so that could be. Wow. Yeah. Teddy goes by the fifth date there moving in and I oh, don't wow. know if I, <laughs> that sounds like some, uh, it sounds like me, actually. I can't even really read anybody because it sounds like me. <laughs> wow. Well, that I think that's some good advice. Do you agree? Do anything else to I, add? Nothing I agree one hundred percent. I and thank you everybody for chiming in. Yes. And Vivian absolutely. says that you want to create chemistry early on, and I agree with that as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well hey, tags listeners, craving for more tags, hungry like I am. 
Well, now you can unlock exclusive Tags content. I'm talking about our weekly Tags After Show and our twice monthly Dark and Dirty Show. Now you can listen wherever you get your podcasts. You'll get a notice each week when new episodes are dropped exclusively for you. So what are you getting from this exclusive content? Well, you're getting a weekly Tags After Show where the conversation continues with hot gay sex topics in a more relaxed, behind-the-scenes, more intimate format. Our twice-monthly Dark and Dirty show will often feature special guests like my co-hosts, but gets a little darker and a little dirtier as we reveal our sexcapades to your exclusive ears. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now to unlock exclusive Tags content and know that you'll be supporting Tags Podcast to continue delivering the quality of Tags Podcast you've come to love. You can unlock this exclusive content by going to tagspodcast.com and click on the link Tags After Show. Thanks for being a supporter and continue having hot gay sex. Oh, you guys, let's move on. Um, by the way, you can always ask us for uh, to weigh in on sex or relationship advice. You can DM us at Tags Podcast. We love giving solicited advice. Or you can email us as well. It. Go to tagspodcast.com. <laughs> All right. Well, moving on, Matthew Camp. You know Matthew Camp, right? <laughs> and it seems like he was just getting out of a fire, a fire and he oh, has got right. yeah remember over the summer i forgot about that house. yeah well i guess he's okay now because he has a new doll <laughs> matthew <laughs> camp's new doll i don't know why this is let you annabelle take is that you <laughs> <laughs> did you say annabelle <laughs> i did and i'm kind of obsessed with dolls like i'm watching chucky the tv uh-huh. show right now okay. oh nice. yes is it I'm, good it is it's really good yes okay, i really I like check it. it out I love scary things. annabelle and chucky a matthew <laughs> camp doll it lets you take the heartthrob home with you have you okay. ever wondered what it would be they write on out.com have you ever wondered what it'd be like to be with an adult actor an absolute heartthrob of matthew camp well, you're in luck because now there's a doll for that. In other words, if you, you're not going to get him, but you can get the next best thing. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, uh, I mean, a real life-size Matthew Camp sex doll yep. is now available for your purchase and for your pleasure. Um, the, the, so the 37-year-old hunk announced the release of the official, the official Matt Camp doll earlier today on social media. And there's pictures of it. He writes me, myself, and I. And the pictures of it, I don't know. What were your first thoughts? I don't think it really looks like him. And it's kind of creepy. The pictures. Um, (laughs) What were your thoughts? You you want me to start? Yes, go ahead. I told you offline. His inbred cousin is what it was what my first reaction was. That is so harsh. I, you know, and maybe it looks also, horrible. And he's also such a the way cute he's guy. caressing it. She's kind of holding the doll like this. It's I mean, so weird. It's, it's so kinda, weird. It's kind of I would not. It's a no for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's also another one where he's holding it and it has like a beard on it. It looks like a real beard. And that one no. looks like an axe murderer in my mind. So like he's going to murder. Imagine if you bought this doll and you were going, you forgot you bought it. And you're, you're just going at night into your bedroom and, and you're on the light. If I saw that. <laughs> my ass would be dirty (laughs) the one time i answered i've been shit bricks because of that (laughs) oh my god it just reminds me of a scary movie and he's not stabbing you with a knife okay (laughs) okay i know wouldn't that create or you if you just woke up in the middle of the night and were like oh my god like who is this in my room it's yeah why was this a good idea like he gets out of a burning house and now he has a doll like why was that the idea I'm just I don't think I don't think it's a good idea at, at all. But I did go to the website and it is. Full oh, you body. did. 
Yeah, it is full like, bottle. We were oh, wondering. No, I didn't buy one. <laughs> it's full. It's full it's size. For research purposes, it's full size. You can. Oh, and in one of the pictures, is it blow you can up? Even or see, I, mean... I don't think it's blow up. I think it's rubber, and you can see an outline of a penis, and it, the penis is huge on the thing. So my my boyfriend was like, "Well, can does it fuck you, or do you can you ride it?" And I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> well, did it say on the packaging? On the you went to the website. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to click off. It was it was um <laughs> it, it was dark sided that website. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't know if this is a I mean, because there's all these robotic dolls that are coming out, sex dolls, and uh-huh. I don't know. It's just I think I'd rather just jerk off and call it a day than it. It just than... seems a little rushed to me. Like they could have oh, did things more like the the doll oh. was a little bit rushed. Instead of being his inbred cousin. <laughs> oh my God. I, right. I'm a horrible. If I'm he so ever sorry, listens Matthew, to we're going to lay right I know, now. No, right? I know. <laughs> but we know. Maybe we just need to see it in person and we okay, would have a different. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. When you order one, you let me know. Okay. It would be fun to have Matthew Kemp on the show. And you know how in our Get Vocal, you can grab a spot. He could have one yeah. for him and then the, and his one doll for or a grab a spot. But, and then maybe he can have a ventriloquist like talk to you. Do you know who Ornacia is? No, who? Oh, from Drag Race. It's just okay, one of the no. heads that was on. Okay, I'll also oh, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a head from Drag Race that um it's a head on top of Vivacious's head, and they Ooh. and she's been given life. Really, from Drag Race. Yes, yeah, she has see, her own Instagram fun. account. But it's fun. See, I think that's a lot of fun. And uh, um, yeah, what are people saying? Marcus you buy says the- that we that we have him looking up the doll. And what do you think, Marcus? Would you buy this doll? Everybody yeah. weigh in. Would you buy this yeah, doll? Would you? Who? I see some people, um, Silas and some others. Would you buy... Oh, Silas. The, the, Ma- the Matthew Camp doll. And... Yeah, let us know. Website. I might have uh, went away from it because it was. I'm telling you, it's dark sided. I don't. I feel like it's dark sided. Yeah, <laughs> I, will, I will post this on on tagspodcast.com. Um, okay, we've got to get to this. A couple of crazy things that are in the news. Um, I'm all for a little golden showers here and there, but there is a rock band front woman. <laughs> Who peed on the on a man's face during a concert in Florida? Of course, they write. I mean, um, no, why not this, in Florida, <laughs> right? No, this isn't a story about Hustler Ball Berlin. It's about a rock concert called Welcome to Rockville Festival, and it was held last Thursday in Daytona at Daytona International Speedway, and the band, which um, what do they go by? Brass Against. The front woman, Sophia Arista, was rocking out during their set and performing a cover of Rage Against the Machine's Wake Up when she and the band apparently invited a guy in the front row to come up and receive a golden shower to which he happily obliged. And it was captured in graphic detail from folks who were there more than 15, 20 feet away. She unbuttoned her pants, pulled down her panties, and then got into a squat position and hovered. Soon the live stream started, and she let it rip for a good 10 seconds or so. Wow. The downpour of urine absolutely buried the man's face, and he even spit some of it out. <laughs> I'm getting looks what? off camera here. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, to it me, is a lot. If you're at Hustler Ball or you're at one of you're in Berlin and you you're getting and, paid uh, to get peed on, yeah, that's a lot for. I mean, it's not 1978 and you're at like you know some crazy punk concert. I don't know. No. Are we being prudish or, or not? I am definitely not being prudish. I don't know who that lady is. I don't want her pee on me. <laughs> <laughs> or spray sounds- what if you're in the front row and oh yeah. my god i would Sprayed- sue her i would yeah. sue her probably <laughs> yeah i i would too pain and I mean, suffering for sure pain and suffering yeah it's too much right okay i think we can all agree on that one if Next- we can go back to if we can go back to the Matthew Camp doll for one second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people have weighed in, and Jen says well, he would people, buy People it. don't want to talk about golden showers. <laughs> 
<laughs> Teddy said it. Back to Matthew Camp. <laughs> Je- Jen said he would buy it and put a Michael Myers mask on it. I guess because that would make it more attractive. Oh my God. I am oh. I'm really mean tonight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And yeah. Marcus says that for him. So Yeah. Yeah. I'm just because he's so creative, Matthew Camp. I'm just wondering why I I guess we've I think there's a, a dick out of his, you know, how people sculpture oh, yeah. a dick and you can buy people's mm-hmm. flesh or not flesh, but the, the model of it. He didn't, he just wanted to go to the next level and get the whole shebang the whole and have a, your own piece of Matthew camp in your house. Yeah. And I don't I know. Mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there is, um, I don't know that we want to do that other. <laughs> do you want to do that other story or should we? Get to uh, about the Minnesota guy? Yeah. No, no. No, not let's not do that. that. Let's do our thirst trap here. Okay. And it's our favorite segment called Thirsty. When this comes out, Thirsty Thursday. And it's straight up gay porns. This week, it's their second to last week before they end the year. And then all the winners oh. that they do each week, they're going to do a whole runoff of these porn stars. And this week, though... <laughs> What were you gonna say? I thought you were gonna say that they were gonna stop doing the thirst trap, and I got I got really stressed out and worried and sad. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking the week off of Thanksgiving, thank goodness. Okay. As we are, we will be off next okay. week. Just a little announcement in honor well, of Thanksgiving. Um, but it's thirst trap. Eighteen gay porn stars, and they ask the question: Who took the best photo or video? And Cody, who out of these eighteen? got your thirst so i i really feel like we have the same one this week every time i go through and i'm like i wonder who steve is going to pick and really i, I don't want to pick the, yeah pretty much but so the one this week my vote goes to alejandro oh interesting name okay uh-huh and what what is he doing in it so that's so funny that you say that because his last name is my uncle's nickname. So that really weirded me out at first, but he is so damn sexy in this video that it's <laughs> <laughs> give him my vote this week. It was a close call between him and somebody else, but it's a video and his camera phone is it, it's on a camera phone in the mirror, right? Right. So and he has on he the camera's in front of his face and he has on a tank top and his whole body is covered. And I think it's just an excellent class how to seduce people because oh. he lifts up his shirt and he shows the the base of his penis and it's really hot and then he shows his face and he's just so cute and here's my boyfriend right here (laughs) (laughs) well that was a hard one this week's a little harder today my sister's in the room too and i'm like this week is a little harder to do this segment but i'm like la 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 but the one i'm picking that's why you had me go for it yeah yeah (laughs) so funny um chase 60%. 60%. Well, no, excuse me. A- angel em- is it Angel? Yeah, Angel Emoji XX. That's what it is. And okay, he let me try is and find him. You start try and find him. He's a little lower okay. down the I am all about the face on this. He's got this great tattoo. He's jerking off on a couch, playing with his nipple. And oh. he has this kind of movie star sexy face. And you know, I like to often go to their Twitter account and see what they look like on there. I liked all his content. He seems to be bi oh, perhaps really? because he's seen fucking both men and women. And okay. he's, there's a confidence in him. And in, and he seems really, it's just his legs are spread. He's got a great dick. Uh, I'm just really taken by his face and the way he was confidently looking in the camera. He gets my vote and I'm going to follow him yes, from here on out. And that's... Yeah, do you like it? It's a good one, right? Good video, yeah. right? Did you look at mine? I did, yes. I Yes, let me get to his real quick, scrolling down. Oh, Marcus yeah. Says, oh, I like, yeah, very hot. Yeah. Marcus says... And I, 
Mark, I went to his, uh, before I say what Marcus says, I went to his, like you, like you taught me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the content, it looks great. So yes, that's why he got my vote. Marcus says that he picks, I hope I'm saying that right as well. And that was Teddy the picks one him too. Said, Teddy picks him too. And that was the other one that I was kind of like on the fence. Should I pick Idolo or should I pick? Idolo Andrade, right? And I've picked yes. him in the past. Otherwise, and he's Me, a, so he's, have I. Yeah, he's very sexy and gets my vote all the time. I try and mix it up though every week, so I'm not just picking the same one. Um, same here. Jin says he's in love with Troy. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I gotta find Troy. They do such a good job, and it's and it's really great to know that they're gonna do like an awards based on who people pick each week on the straight up gay porn site. So we got to stay tuned for that. Yeah, that's really good. I love it. All right. Well, thanks for playing everybody. This has been a lot of fun. Um, if you happen to be in Puerto Vallarta, I will be here for another week. So DM me and I would love to say hi to any listeners here. It's such nice. a gay destination. There's a good likelihood that I'll run into somebody. And so um, you can always follow my co-host Cody Maurice Doggett at Mr. Maurice, where he won't be smiling, but he will be showing <laughs> his beautiful chest. Check him out at Mr. Maurice. He's also a life coach at KMD coaching follow us at tags podcast or on the tiktok at tags podcast um in the meantime thanks so much cody so much fun thanks guys Thank for you, watching babe. live it's audience a lot of fun Th thanks producer on the sidelines vivian me thanks, thanks everybody so fun and in the meantime continue having hot hot gay, gay sex, sex. Yes. nice awesome awesome